Yawam Kapa Kahalau Yum La Yahawa Bahasham Yahawashai Bahasham Racha Kodesh They will honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and they bring a word and doctrine, Shalom in peace, may that be to the elect of the nation of Israel. So in the time of Day of Atonement, the Day of Atonement, that's what that term means there, which is a fast, or it's a 24 hour fast, no drink, no water, you know, and it's a time of atoning. Right, what does that mean? It means to make at one. This is on the Etims, the ETYM online.com. Atonement, condition of being at one with others. Now, this is actually being at one with the Heavenly Father. Atonement, being one with others, a sense now obsolete from atone or at one and meant. Now, this is the key part for us. Theological meaning, right? That means God word, theos, God power, logos being word or study. Theological meaning, reconciliation of man with the Most High through the life, passion, right? Passion means suffering in its truest form the Greek term pathos suffering sorry passion and death of Hamashiach right the Messiah and that's from 1520s right so that's what the word means to be made one coming back to you know, being whole you know, like you have the idea of being far from the Heavenly Father you know, some people with their mouths, they speak great things, you know, they draw near, their hearts are far from. Also says, um, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Alright, so that's what it's, it's about making. Well, that, those scriptures are about making the most of your scenario. If you're able to get the word, you know, get it while you can, while stocks last. Because there will be a famine of the word. But in this, you know, you have to become one with the Heavenly Father again. You know, so we always slip up. I don't want to say always, like 24-7, but we often slip up. You know, we don't keep the fullness of the law in this flesh. You know, there's things that we can do. Be more temperate. Be more, you know, considerate of how we are. Of how we are conduct our behavior it's a time of reflection right and getting right okay so i'll look into this word here now the word for at one man, atonement in hebrew and it's the term kapar kapar it says atonement eight times and the root here says if you're alone, earth. right it says to cover purge make an atonement make reconciliation cover over with pitch to cut or cover with pitch now we're not covering ourselves with pitch you know our intention is to cover where we fall short with the blood of Yahweh HaMashiach through our faith and make it whole through faith it says to cover over pacify propitiate to cover over atone for sin where make atonement for to cover over atone for sin and persons by legal rights you know and legal deals with a law a law system and this is very much in the law you know, and in these two chapters in Leviticus it says to be covered over to make atonement for to be covered right so how do we cover there's nothing we can do spectacularly in our flesh you know it's all of the spirit this whole truth this whole existence is spiritual first Right, so we get covered through first off you have to be of the elect you know, no man can make himself of the elect that's something that's foreordained predestinated but you know through acts, acts of faith and 
Santos, that of faith and works are synonymous. You know, you can't be a wicked ninja. I don't mean the karate dude. You know that you can't be a wicked N. Carry on and and um, you know profess faith. You can, but there's there's nothing if you're not presenting works. There's nothing for the Heavenly Father to prove that you are faithful unto Him. You know. So I'll read it now. Leviticus 23, 27 and 28. Also on the tenth day of the seventh month, seventh month, so in the seventh month, the month means moon, moon means month. You know, in, the, in Hebrew it's the word chadash, and that's the same word for moon and the same word for month. You know, a new moon, a new month. I'm sorry, yeah, that's more clear. Alright. On the tenth day of the seventh month, there should be an atonement, a day of atonement, a yawam, kapa. It should be a holy convocation unto you, and you should afflict your souls, and an offering of fire should be made unto the Lord. So, offer, offering by fire. Right, so the word for. It's lucky I got that. Verse 28, you should do no work, and you should do no work in the sa in that same day, for it is a day of atonement, to make an atonement before for you, before the Lord your God, before you howl your power. Alright, so that's the purpose of, of this. Again, to bring ourselves right. Right, verse 30, and whatsoever soul whatsoever soul it be that doeth any work in that same day the same soul will I destroy from among his people and this is where the aspect of you know, being having that covering because a lot of brothers are not going to be able to work you know if they're working so if they're um, not going to be able to have it off because they will be working a lot of brothers in um, Babylon will be able to keep it because it's Labor Day you know, the brother Meshavar informed me that you know, certain days, certain Sabbaths, you can't always keep. You know, I'm fortunate enough to work in a job where I'm able to request that off, you know, and go home at certain times. But unfortunate enough that it didn't fall in my favour today, you know, and they had me working an hour or, well, not a full hour, but, you know, past sundown, which is not what I should be doing. You know, but I just pray the Heavenly Father forgives me, you know, for that, and certain things are out of our control but again we have to minimize any you know interference with that so it's to the best of your ability you know in your heart if you if there's something more you could have done you understand and the scriptures say to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him it is sin right so there might be it might not necessarily be a verbatim law but if you know it's if, if it's good you know it and you're not doing it you know, then to you it is a transgression. Okay. But you know, Lord willing, we get we get covered. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about the faith, you know, making making us whole, making us perfect in that manner. And then when we change out of this wicked flesh, you know, then we can, you know, keep the law perfectly literally. For right now it's perfected by faith. Right, so I'll leave it there. Just a quick hit on the atonement or at one moment, you know, afflicting, afflicting our souls. Make sure you're in the right spirit for this day as well, man. There's, uh, there's no point fasting, you know, and then your your heart is in in the world, you know, is in something you're not thinking about. You know, these things that we should be thinking about. All right, so next video, Lord willing. Giving all praises again to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kudash, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai. Shalom.